It's showtime. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 3 of the Ray Dennison Chevrolet Weekly Wrap-Up. Hello! This coming Sunday, it's the Bears and the Packers battling for a spot in Super Bowl 45. Bear down, Chicago Bears! And I know a lot of you are nervous about Jay Cutler going into this game, but Bears fans, you know it could be worse. In related news, kind of, Brett Favre, yes, Brett Favre, the former Falcon, the former Packer, the former Jet, and now the former Viking, has filed his retirement papers again. I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. Favre also thinks that his former team, the Green Bay Packers, will win it all this season. You don't know nothing. But anything. In other news, Regis is retiring later this year, Oprah still has lots of money, and American Idol is back on the air. Yay. A lot of you may still have questions about the Motor Trend Car of the Year, the 2011 Chevy Volt. What is it? How does it work? Why is it so awesome? Well, hopefully this video that I'm about to show you will clear up some of those questions. The Chevrolet Volt is a whole new kind of car, so it's a whole new way of looking at good old miles per gallon. But once you understand it, it makes a whole lot of sense. Here's how it works. Because the Volt is an electric car, a fully charged battery powers the vehicle for a range of about 35 miles. At that point, the Volt's gasoline engine supplies the power to run the electric motors. That means even if you can't recharge, you can still get where you're going. But it also means that two MPG ratings apply. Hence, the sticker. The 93 MPG refers to all electric MPG, or the MPG equivalent, for those first 35 miles, when you don't use any gasoline at all, just electricity. As you use that electricity that's stored in the battery, the electric efficiency is equivalent to 93 miles per gallon. After that, once the battery is depleted and you're using gas, you get an estimated 37 miles per gallon. But how does electricity translate to the familiar gasoline miles per gallon, you ask? The scientists and engineers at the EPA did some math and calculated the electrical equivalent of the energy produced from one gallon of gasoline. And presto. What does this mean on the road? Electricity and gas work together to get you from point A to point B as efficiently as possible for a max of about 379 miles with a full charge and a full tank of gas. Your overall mileage varies depending on how far you travel and how often you recharge along the way. That's this part of the sticker. So for instance, if you charge every 30 miles, you use next to no gas. Gas MPG doesn't apply, so it's efficient, super efficient, at a cost of about four cents a mile. Now, let's say you plug in every 60 miles. In that case, you use electricity and some gas, but you still manage to get about 89 miles per gallon at a cost of about six cents a mile. Bottom line, the more you drive on electric, the less it costs to drive. And if you don't have a chance to recharge on a longer trip, you can always run on gas. If you take into account different possible driving patterns and trip lengths, the same scientists and engineers at the EPA give the Volt the best rating among all compact cars, with a combined energy equivalent of 60 MPGE. That's it. Not rocket science. Just a little electric science. Are you serious? This is... this is... Oh. Okay, this just in, Brett Favre has decided to come back for another season. Please, no! 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 Okay, he's not coming back. But we will be back next week. Until then, have yourselves a fantastic weekend. I, I really, I actually can't believe what I just saw. I'm gonna do the things that I want.